Okay guys, so I'm going to be doing a really classic look today. It's just red lips and a smoky eye using some new products that I recently just got. So here's my bare face. I'm going to go ahead and moisturize my lips with a chubby lip balm. I purchased this one from Walmart and it works really well. It was only a buck, so whatever. Um, but just use your favorite. I'm going to moisturize my skin today with the Josie Marin Light Argan Oil, which I really, really liked there for a while. And then... I don't know, it just stopped working for me after like a month. So I don't use that anymore. I use a different product, but if you like oils, give this one a try. It's really lightweight. And I just massage that into my skin. Next, I'm going to go ahead and use this Skin Nutrition's Dark Circle Remover. And I really use this to just depuff and relax my skin, especially around really hormonal areas or places that I feel are puffy, um, which would be around my nose, under my eyes, in the middle of my eyes, and also on my forehead. Now I'm going to conceal, which basically prime my eyelids, with the HD Lifting Concealer from e.l.f. This is in the shade Fair, and it's their lightest shade. I do have a review for this and a foundation, so I'll link that down below. Now I'm going to use the Wet n Wild um, Single Eyeshadow and Creme Brulee to set that. Just help the colors blend, and I'm listening to my favorite band, Hinder. It's All American Nightmare, if you guys are wondering. And now I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Pulp Fiction Palette and use the shade Tyranny. It's just a really warm brown, and I'm going to blend that in with the Sonia Kashuk Blending Brush and sing my song as well. Uh, I'll link a video down below to my favorite inexpensive makeup brushes. They're mostly all Sonia Kashuk, but I'll leave that link to the video down below so you guys can see what the actual brushes are called and things like that. Um, and I'm going to move into another eyeshadow. This is the Milani um, Bella Eyes Eyeshadow in Charcoal. Really fun color. Super pigmented and lasts all day. I'm just spraying my brush with a little bit of homemade tea tree water. I, again, I do have a review and swatch video for these Bella Eyes eyeshadows. So I'll link that down below as well. That, that way you guys have something to watch after this video is over. And then we're going to go into just blending that crease with um, no extra product um, with the same brush I used from Tyranny, just to get those blended a little bit better. And I'm going to go in with the outer corner next. I'm going to go in with the Kat Von D Beethoven palette, and I believe this is in Sinner. It's just a really, maybe no, it's Lucifer. It's called Lucifer. It's a really dark matte black. I really love this. And also, this is really, really messy the way I've been doing it, but I just wanted to show you how messy I get and how beautiful it will look at the end. Now I'm going to just blend out these edges with just a clean brush um, just to make sure there are a little bit more natural lines, basically. And I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Milani Bella Eyes in silver. And I basically just take this wet and put it on the inner corner of my eyelids, and then I go and blend it together afterwards but right now it's not going to look blended at all. I just did this to try and use these products a little bit more and become familiar with them so I'm just doing that with a teeny tiny little brush. I have no idea. I think it's by Ulta or something. Uh, it was like a freebie. So that's what's up right now and apparently I just let this go forever. <laughs> So now I'm going back in to blend that silver with the charcoal just a little bit better and have the charcoal stand out from the black. So I'm just going back in and putting that in the center. And I'm going to clean up my look. So I'm taking just regular baby wipes. You can use makeup remover wipes, whatever you want. And I'm going to remove all of the fallout because these dark shades definitely have that and really perfect the edges. And now I'm going to uh, go in with my foundation. And this is the Rebel and Color Stay Foundation in... Ivory, which is their lightest shade. It's still a little tiny on the wrong tone for me. It smells really fresh. I will have a review and demo for it coming soon, so don't worry. And now I'm going to set it with that wet wild creme brulee eyeshadow once more. Um, because I really love the way that this works on my skin as a setting powder. I've went through like two of them so far. Absolutely love this. Definitely try it if you're pretty fair um, and neutral skin toned as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and just continue to do that, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to start bronzing soon. Oh, I'm going to play on my phone, I guess, and be lost. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and bronze with my Hard Candy Baked Bronzer in Heat Wave. absolutely love this bronzer. It's a number one go-to, 
and I'm just using another go-to makeup brush. I bring it down next so it just kind of warms up everything and I'm going to go in with a Benefit Boxed Blush in Dandelion because it's just really natural and pretty and great for this look. Um, and I don't know what I'm saying, but I was singing. And I'm going to go in with my Victoria's Secret All or Nothing highlighter and a stipple brush from Flirt, which I love this highlight. It's really natural though, so I'm going to kind of step it up a notch and go with something more vibrant, if you will. So I'm going to take the Kat Von D Paint Oven palette and I'm going to go in with the eyeshadow Tequila. And I'm going to use a smaller, kind of more precise brush for this. And I'm really going to make this highlight stand out. So I'm going to go above the brows, on the cheekbones, the tip of the nose, um, above the lips. Just really go all out. You can highlight wherever you want, but that's my favorite places. And I'm going to blend it out with the Kabuki just to make sure the edges are blended. Now I'm going to go ahead and go in with this Marc Jacobs Gel Liner in Blacker. Uh, this is an okay product. I really prefer it for my upper waterline. I don't like using it on the lower lash line or um, as regular eyeliner. I just thought I would try it because I had just recently got it, I'm pretty sure, and really hadn't tried it until this point. Now I'm going to go ahead and coat my lashes with some MAC Giga Black Lash Mascara, Extended Play Giga Black Lash, and I absolutely love this mascara. really length, lengthens and separates and adds just a little bit of volume, and, uh, and I did curl my lashes previously to applying this as well. I love the brush. Super great for defining, especially the lower lash line as well, but it's not waterproof. Now I'm going to go in with one of my favorite formulations of matte lip colors. And this is the e.l.f. Matte Lip Color in Wine. I'll leave a link to the video where I do a review and swatches of these because I have like eight of them. They're great. So I'll leave a link to that down below. Go check it out. And I'm going to fill in my eyebrows with my Instant Brow Lift in Taupe from e.l.f. I absolutely love this product. It matches my hair perfectly. It glides on like a dream, blends amazingly, and lasts a really long time also. So I really, really love it. Plus, it's really, really precise, and it has a spoolie on the other end, and it's $2. Like, what's not to like? So basically, that's it for the tutorial. I'm just setting it with my tea tree water, and I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.